comes to private golf course communities in South Florida, your choices are endless, but only one, not only in Florida, but throughout the entire golfing world, can boast that it's home to three Nicholas family designed golf courses. It is the club at Ibis. IBIS opened for play back in 1991 and featured the Jack Nicholas Jr. designed Heritage Course and the Legend Course designed by the Golden Bear himself, Jack Nicholas. Then in 2001, IBIS added its third layout in the Stephen Nicholas designed Tradition Course. In 2017, Jack Nicholas was brought back in to update and redesign the Legend Course. We did a lot of different things around the greens with a lot of collection areas, getting rid of some of the greenside bunkers. Making it a softer layout for the mid to high level handicap player, yet still retaining the challenge that the better ball striker seeks in his or her round. Also during the renovation, Nicholas removed many of the original waste areas and replaced them with nearly 14 acres of turf grass. So it does help with pace of play. It helps with, um, as I said, for our members to be able to manage their game around the golf course and still have a challenging yet, you know, fun environment. Also during the renovation process, Jack Nicholas increased the overall length of this layout by over 300 yards. But at the same time, he also added additional tee boxes. We went back um, from 7,100 yards to over 7,400 yards, but we also went forward. Uh, the shortest tee before was about 5,100 yards, and we went all the way up to 4,500 yards. So now there is a tee box literally for every member on property to be able to play the golf course and enjoy the golf course. And while it's always important to find the short grass off the tee, it's imperative to really focus on hitting good second shots here on the Legends course. This is definitely a second shot golf course. Uh, the way the greens um, are set up with the collection areas and fall off areas around the greens, you know, even with a middle pin in certain, um, on certain holes on certain greens, it's a relatively uh, small landing area. And like most Florida golf courses, water does come into play throughout your round. Have water on 14 of the 18 holes uh, that directly impacts you know the player shots and to post a good score here on the legend course you'll need to take advantage of the par fives for the average length hitter the par fives are not reachable in two if you're a little above average you should have a go at most of our par fives if you're playing the correct set of tees so you really need to get after the the par fives uh, the par threes out here are, are pretty demanding, you know, so if you can go around and, and be around even par after playing all four par threes, you're in good shape. And then the par fours, we do have a couple short par fours uh, where you really want to, you know, make sure that you score on those, the two short ones in particular, uh, because there are some teeth to uh, a few of the other par fours. And a proficient ground game will certainly serve you well out here on the legend course. We see a lot of our members pulling out putter, pulling out hybrid fairway woods off the greens uh, from a long way away instead of having to take a more lofted club. The Jack Nicholas Design Legend Course at the Club of Ivan. One of three spectacular layouts you can play day in and day out as a member of this West Palm Beach private golf club community. What's great is that there's a lot of variety between the three golf courses. So depending on which course you're playing, you get a different experience uh, day in and day out.